Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the morning numbers, morning blood sugar. Have you ever woken up, checked your blood sugar before even touching the food and thought that, wait a second, how is this even high or possible? I haven't eaten a single thing, right? Well, if that's you, you're not alone. This is one of the most common frustrations that I hear from my patients. Today, I will explain why this happens, and I'll tell you that it's called Dawn Phenomenon, and I'll give you practical science-backed strategies to keep those numbers under control, all day, every day. Here's the scenario. You went to bed with decent blood sugar, you didn't snack at night, you wake up in the morning, and boom, your glucose is higher. It feels like your body betrayed you overnight, and it keeps going. It doesn't stop there. Your blood sugar keeps rising after waking. Let's say you wake up with 120, and then two hours later, you're 160, 180. You're like, how did that happen? Well, the truth is, this is not random. It is your body's natural rhythm at work. It's normal. When you're not diabetic, that's not a problem. But when you have diabetes, you know, that's more prominent. So let's explain the dawn phenomenon a little bit more. So here's what's happening. Exactly, to the science. Around 3 to 8 a.m., your body releases hormones, right? Cortisol, growth hormone, adrenaline, and glucagon. These are all necessary hormones to get you going in the morning. These hormones are designed to help you wake up by, you know, telling your liver, hey, you know, get this sugar out, released all night long, so for that, you know, quick energy for you. In someone without diabetes, like I said, the pancreas releases just enough insulin to keep blood sugar stable. But if you have type 2 diabetes or insulin resistance, your body either does not make enough insulin at that time or does not respond to insulin well. What's the result? Well, morning blood sugar spikes, even if you didn't eat. And paradoxically, eating actually helps, and we'll talk about that. So let's start with simple strategies. Now you know that you can fight back. There are some things that I tell my patients to blunt that morning rise. Number one, I tell them get moving early. A short morning walk or light exercise helps muscles soak up glucose and it lowers cortisol. Even 10 to 15 minutes makes a difference. Also stay hydrated. You didn't drink anything all night long, so you're dehydrated. Drink a glass of water first thing in the morning because dehydration concentrates your blood sugar and makes spikes a lot worse. Now, let's talk about the dreaded advice that um, nobody wants to hear. Delay the coffee or pair it with food. Coffee on an empty stomach can raise cortisol and can worsen the dawn spike. If you are a coffee lover, wait until breakfast and ideally pair it with protein or healthy fat. Number four, eat an early savory breakfast. Skip the cereal and the toast. Instead, try eggs, avocado, Greek yogurt, or a veggie omelet. I call it a savory breakfast. Protein and healthy fats will set your blood sugar up for stability all day long, including that morning time. Actually, it will taper that spike if you have protein and fat first thing in the morning. Now, obviously, you can do afternoon exercises. A workout in the afternoon can improve insulin sensitivity that can last all the way to the morning. Obviously, that can reduce how high your liver will push the sugar overnight just because you will be more sensitive to insulin. Obviously, we always talk about stress and sleep control because poor sleep will raise your cortisol, which feels down the dawn effect. Aim for seven to eight hours and use relaxation techniques before bed. All right, so what about when to take action? Is that you? Do you have to do all of that? Now, if your fasting sugars are consistently high, even with these strategies that I talked about, then it may be a sign that you need medication adjustments or further testing, or maybe a supplement like sugar and glucagon. Don't just ignore it. Work with your doctor, possibly a functional medicine doctor, to see if treatment needs some tweaking. But for many of my patients, just applying these simple lifestyle hacks makes a noticeable difference just within a week. So here's what I want you to take away from this video. The dawn phenomenon is real. You're not imagining it and you're not doing anything wrong. It is your hormones working against you, although they're good hormones, but they don't get along with the insulin. And you know that you can take control. Start your day with water, move your body, delay that coffee, eat a savory, protein-rich breakfast early in the morning, and manage your stress and sleep. These small shifts will lower your morning numbers and set the tone for better sugars all day long.
Thanks for watching. Obviously, we want you to subscribe. Click on the bell icon, okay? So you can be sure that you're catching every video. And why not share with someone because there's a lot of people who really do not know this information and they will never know unless you help them out. So we'll see you in the next video.